welcome to the Bettendorf Public Library's Take Home Workshop. Today, we're going to be making these mini paper drawers. I am always looking for ways to organize workspaces and things like that. And these are perfect for paper clips, uh, rubber bands, any sort of little office supplies. You could keep earrings in there for jewelry, storage, anything like that. They're simple, they're easy, they're customizable, and we're gonna show you how to do it. So let's see what's in the kit. In your kit, first of all, you're going to find paper. So we're each component um, takes two sheets of one color and then one sheet of another color. Now, of course, you can customize this. So if you wanna do the whole thing all the same, if you wanna use like a fancy origami paper for part of this, you can. We're gonna be using red and white. So we need two sheets for the outer part and then one sheet for the drawer itself. And then you'll also find a glue stick. This is not true origami because we're going to be gluing things in place. We need this to be structurally sound. What we're asking you to supply is a ruler and a pair of scissors and a pencil. And that's all we need to make this nifty little box. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is cut our paper to size. So you can make these in any size that you want. Basically the ratio for paper sizes is three to four. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut our red, which is how we're making the outer part of our box. We're gonna cut these into six by six inch squares. The, yeah, or the cream, we're going to cut into eight by eight inch squares. I'm just going to measure this out with my ruler. Six inches. And then another six. And then cut. You do want this to be pretty precise. So if you have a paper cutter or a cutting mat, like I obviously have, if that gives you a more precise measurement, then I would go ahead and use that. Okay, so six by six in square. I'm gonna cut another one of these in red and then an eight by eight in the ivory, and then we'll get started. We've cut our paper. We have two six inch square red squares and one eight inch square ivory square. We're gonna set a couple of those aside and go ahead and fold the first half of our outer box. So to do this, we're going to fold it in half. Then open it up and fold it in half again. and open it up again. Now we're going to take our top corners and bring them down to the center. If you have a folding bone or something like that, that might be helpful. Um, you always want your folds to be as precise and as crisp as possible. I find that a fingernail works, especially on this weight paper, a fingernail works just fine. Then we're gonna take our bottom side and bring it up to the middle. Both sides, we're going to bring these and we're gonna bring this into our center line. And end up with what looks like a little house. We're going to unfold these sides and these bottom corners, we're going to bring up to this fold line that we just made. So we're gonna make it a little triangle down there in the bottom on either side. Again, nice and crisp on our folds. A little harder to do once you're starting to get more 
thickness in there, but it's still there. And then we're going to take our top and bring it down to our midline, straight down. Okay, so that's our folding. Now we're going to start gluing this. Again, not true origami. True origami doesn't involve gluing, but we want this to be really structurally strong. So we're gonna open up our top all the way. We're gonna unfold it. And we're going to glue just in these two squares right here. We do have to be kind of precise with the group glue in this project because when we need to open it back up to make the drawers when we're done, we don't wanna have glued anything shut that we didn't need. So we're going to glue just in those two squares and then we're going to fold these back down. Then we're going to glue this top triangle. And we're going to fold that back down. Then we're gonna open our bottom all the way and we're going to glue in this triangle right here. On both sides. And fold that up. And then again, on the upper side of that triangle. You have kind of a elongated hexagon. But now we're just going to pull this open and our sides are gonna pop up. We can crisp up some of our squares. And we have half of the outer box of our drawer. So we're gonna do that exact same thing with our other piece of red. So now we've finished both sides of our box. All we're gonna do is turn one upside down or set them both on their back and slide one inside the other. And we're gonna glue the outside of this one pretty generously. Slide it in there. Got glue all over my fingers. And make sure that that adheres really well. So there's like a little, little shelf, the little outer side of your box. So now let's make what goes inside of your box. We have our eight by eight inch square. Again, we're gonna fold it in half. Open it, fold it in half again. We're going to bring our folds down to the middle. If you've been doing take-home workshops for very long, this might look familiar to you because this is, um, we did a nested box a while back uh, with a lid, like a little gift box, and this was basically that box. Um, in that case, we just made two of them and one was slightly larger and it was the lid, but we're just making the actual box part. Then we're going to take our sides and fold them up to the middle. Open it up and do the same on the other side.
Now we're gonna open up our top and bottom squares and bring our sides in and give them a real good crease all the way up. Okay, let's fold this top down and open it up and fold this down just to kind of strengthen our creases, make it a little bit easier for the tricky fold that we have coming next. Fold that down and fold that down. So here's the tricky part, and it's not that tricky. What we're gonna do is we're going to pinch this side in while pulling that out. And it's going to make a triangular fold in here. You see that? And then we fold that top down. Just like that, let's try it again. Pinch this side in, pull that out, and get that to fold across that square. So you have, it forms two triangles like that, and fold that down. And then you have a little box. We're going to unfold this just a little bit on the inside there. And I'm gonna put glue down here and press that bottom back down. Again, these boxes hold together pretty well without that, but it just gives it a little bit more strength So now let's go back, and here's the two red partial boxes that we did. We can take this and we slide it right in there. So I'm gonna make a handle. Now you could do anything for a handle, really. You could make a button. Um, you don't even really need one because you can just take it on the side and slide it out. But I'm just going to take my red paper and I'm going to cut um, about a half inch strip then I'm just gonna roll that up. So we're just going to make a little handle like this. But what else could you do, do you think? You could poke holes in there and put a little loop of ribbon in there. You could use, like I said, a button or some other sort, like a bead, just glue a bead on there, anything like that. Um, that will make it stick out a little bit and be easy to grab. So we're rolling this as tightly as we can when we get down to the end, scratch paper here, I'm gonna put glue on the end of it and finish rolling. And that will hold that in place. And once I have that done, then I'm just going to put even more glue on the outside. And I'm going to do it so that the seam, the end of the paper, is what is glued up against the drawer. So it won't come out undone at a later date. Now I'm going to just glue it on there right in the middle. Actually, I'm going to take my drawer out and then glue it on there just so that I can get my finger inside there and, and give it some pressure. So there's my second drawer. Then, and this is optional, of course. Now you have two of them, or four of them, or six of them, however many of them you want to make. I'm going to make mine double-decker. By gluing them together. And there you have your little, little chest of drawers there. I've seen these done in rainbow style, you know, blue, red, orange, or um, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, each one doing a different one. Like I said, you could do the outer part in a solid color and this in a fancy origami paper, whatever you like. You can make them different sizes. You can use different things for the handles. You can customize this, make it your own, and you can organize your dress. You can organize your vanity. You can have your jewelry in here, your office supplies. It's fun, it's quick, it's easy, and it's very useful. So, you know what I'm gonna say next, right? Send us pictures. We wanna see your little chests of drawers. We wanna see how you made and how you're using them. And we, of course, also wanna thank the Bettendorf Public Library Foundation and Quad City Bank and Trust for sponsoring this Creation Studio program.